Underwood. Thin ice! <laughs> To smoke some weed and shut up. My God. Oh, I thought for sure. There it is. Boom! Yes! Let's go. Sweet 16, baby. I don't know who gave you permission to talk first, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you don't have control over me. He's already taking shots at me, folks. All right. Uh, <laughs> Illinois gets it done. Gets it done, and you know what? I didn't even have to yell. My voice still sounds bad. I know it was the most relaxing game ever. Yell. Most relaxing game ever. I was I had a great time. I would say the result was very much a paper result rather than um, the the madness that can occur in this tournament. I would say that uh, Illinois absolutely controlled everything from the start, and. Yeah. They did the opposite of what BYU did, which BYU was getting – Decay was taking it to BYU in that game. And Illinois came out firing. And it helps when you have a couple of, uh, you know, studs. I mean, two of the <laughs> best players in the country right now on yeah. the same team, along with a bunch of other guys who are playing well and, uh, you know, their role. I forgot that the Sweet 16s in Boston. That'll be uh, – Interesting. Um, really good for UConn. I mean, they got a if they beat Northwestern, of course, they got you know their draw wasn't great, but geographically it was really good. So I mean, anyway, yeah, the benefit of being the number one overall. So except for when they give you like you know whatever they get, I mean, <laughs> they gave them some Big Twelve inflation. You know, to be fair, and yeah. Auburn did lose, but whatever. Uh, before we get too deep into Illinois in this game, shout out to Keith Dambrot had a great career. Uh, obviously, Coach LeBron in high school in Akron. Yeah, uh, and then brings Duquesne to the tournament for the first time in forty-seven years. So long time. Seems like a classy guy. So shout out to him. Uh, his career ending. I mean, the the thing is, in this game, is I feel like Illinois completely took their two best players out of the game for the most part. Their two yeah. best scorers, Clark yeah. and, and Grant. Like mm -hmm. Terrence Shannon on Day Day Grant. I, he was guarding Grant, right? It wasn't yeah. fair. It wasn't fair. He was, uh, yeah, Terrence Shannon was unbelievable this game. Out in open court, in the half court, put the little white freshman on him. That was insane. What are we doing? Yeah. Duquesne, Duquesne, whatever you want to be called these days. Okay, we can't do this again. <laughs> oh um, and then I thought it was interesting, instead of, because I, I was kind of worried about Clark Garden Damask, and they put a big on him. They put length on him, and Damask, you know, he showed what he does against length. He did against Tyler Wall. Um, so it, it was interesting, the game plan they chose. But Illinois, was, I mean, Coleman Hawkins just knocking down threes. The one was ugly, but he chased it down, got the rebound. I mean, the guys the guys were on a different level tonight, it seemed like. Shannon, 10 for 14, 2 for 5 from 3. Damas, 9 of 16, 1 of 2. Shannon perfect from the line. Danger four for four. 13 for 13 Dane in the Danger. tournament. He's 20. Oh. He's got 29 points on 13 of 13 shooting in the tournament. Yeah. Missed all of his free throws tonight, but whatever. It's okay. Uh, and look, Illinois, I think at one point were 30 for 45 from the field in this game. They finished 35 <laughs> for 59. Uh, they yeah. shot at 59% from the field, 33 from deep. They were two for 10 in the second half. Uh, they missed five free throws, but three of those were Dane. Damask missed one, and Max Williams. That doesn't count. Um, once <laughs> again, the assist, the, the assist on, numbers. Yeah, point. him and Hansbury, tournament points. There you go. Yeah. Um, the assist numbers in this game, 17 on 35. That's good. Only turned it over seven times. Shannon had three early ones, and so he ended up with five, but, you know. Eh. Yeah. I saw, uh, I saw 15. We had 15 assists in – do Kane. Nice, nice. Only had 15 buckets. So it's pretty good. At one, time, at one time. Yeah, at one time. At one time. They, they only had they only had 10 buckets in the first half. Um, yeah, I mean, it, the, the thing is, is Duquesne wants to get the hands on you and they want to be physical, but that's yeah. not gonna work whenever Illinois has the ball has juice and it's moving, and the guys like Coleman's first eight points were enormous. Both of those threes and that chase down offensive rebound for the make. Like yeah. that 
got Illinois going. And and Tara Shannon eight for nine from two she, in this game. Yeah, and Shannon, I mean, you have you have two options. You try to lay off of him and you know contain him and let him shoot some threes, or you try to overplay him. And Duquesne tried to overplay him, and you can't guard Terrence Shannon 35 feet from the basket. It, it doesn't work. And Shannon made that very obvious. So I don't um, know, like I like I'm I'm hyped, I'm excited, whatever. But it was Duquesne. Right? I don't, I don't care. Yeah, but I don't care. I know that's what the, the team tonight that showed up tonight be Iowa State. Illinois? I would say yes, yeah. 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 Yeah, but then they're not gonna I don't think they'll score 80 89 against Iowa State. But right. You never know. I mean, look, Illinois right now, as it currently stands, has the number one offensive efficiency in the country. 126.7 yeah. right now. That's number one. The only team that's near them that still plays again tomorrow is UConn, who's 126.5, and Alabama 125.6, and Purdue 125.2. By the way, right now, as it currently stands, people screenshot it. Illinois has the number one offense in the country, and it feels good. Feels good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. This it, uh, Bootsill said not much to complain about, if anything at all. Yeah, I, I don't know what you off the rebounds. Giving up thirteen offensive rebounds might be the only complaint tonight. Yeah, I, I mean, got to clean that up. Got to get some more boards, but other than that, this this is team. This is the team that. You know, we, we've been wanting to show up for two halves, you know, do work, scored 50 in the first half. Here, that's the most they've had in a first half all year. So It, it is. I did look. So this is true. <laughs> yeah. They flirted. They've scored 45-plus about eight times. But, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, this game played out exactly how it should have. Illinois is much better than Duquesne. I think this also shows that Illinois would have dusted BYU too. Please, yeah. I mean, people were scared of. Are you fucking kidding me? People were Illinois fans were scared of BYU. <laughs> well, and that's oh. the thing. It's like Duquesne. Nice. I'm, I'm gonna struggle. You're doing well. You're doing, it's calling the Dukes. <laughs> the Dukes out athleticized BYU and Illinois I mean, out athleticized <laughs> the Dukes. So if you were worried about BYU. Yeah, Illinois oh, also is just better in every phase. Like, it's just not – it's not – like, Duquesne's tough. They're a tough yeah. team. They can be hard to play against. But, like, Illinois just has way too many options and way too many things going for them right now. Like, this team is playing as well as they've played all year, no doubt about it. Uh, Terrence Shannon right now is essentially Superman. Like, yeah. when he fell into the camera, he, like, that, that was just him literally being too athletic. Like, the way he jumped, he just ju – like, it's it, – it, it's, Fucking insane. But anyway, <laughs> uh, tough look for Duquesne's guards who spoke to the media wanting this game in the low 60s. I, what else are they going to say? Yeah, like, true, tough. true. Yeah. 80, they give up 89. I mean, that's you know that's tough. I think Illinois had 65 points with about 10 or 11 minutes left. So, yeah, it's tough. I, I mean, they were talking about the announcers because they're so good, Dane Danger. Uh, they were talking about how Duquesne was outscoring Illinois in the second half. But I mean, no, I don't know. At some point, it's you know you're up 30, 30 it was plus. Thirty. It was ended up being thirty nine, thirty seven. So yeah, Illinois, Illinois by 10. Illinois ended up yeah, outscoring yeah. them. But um, yeah, I was kind of Shannon. I I think could have went to the bench a little bit sooner. Six minutes is fine, but he worried me a few times because the thing about Shannon is he's gonna give you one hundred and ten percent, one hundred and ten percent of the time. Yep, that's good quality for the most part. Oh, absolutely. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying I was shout was, out to uh that's some that's the thing I was most nervous was about was Shannon doing something crazy and breaking a leg or something. So who we uh, shouting out? Shout out to Jeffrey. 19 straight buckets out of miss for Dane. He was four for four against Wisconsin. Nine for nine against Morehead State, four for four against Duquesne. And guess what? These are not easy buckets. That I think he stepped out of bounds in that reverse lefty, but that was a great That great was layup. beautiful. Uh, shout out to Jeffrey for missing an S and miss, too. Definitely. Wow. And and also the the like little you know fade jumper in that last game. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. I mean, Dane, Dane didn't need to give you a ton tonight, but he gave you enough. Eight and five in 13 minutes. Take that all day. Um, yeah. and they're not gonna have an answer for him. Like they got 
I, are we going to excuse that dirty ass play by the Duquesne guy on Quincy? I mean, I guess no. we can excuse it. It is, it is a little fucked up, but the, the the fact that a guy can try to ch- openly yeah, trip yeah, somebody but, and you yeah. just say, ah, it's okay. You're I don't have a problem. 30, I'm no, okay. I I'm fine with that. I if he trips him though, you'd have a problem, right? Yeah, but I think it was they were up thirty. The guy's brain probably coded or something, whatever that word is, because you know his season's about to be over. I don't know. I'll allow it wasn't okay. that bad it wasn't that it, it, they could have done something a lot dirtier like throw a punch or something yeah i mean but if like gary a sometimes the sometimes the white re yes, his yes, wrist fine, yes. yeah then you're mad but so but sometimes the white duke player comes out and everybody yeah you just do something that you wouldn't normally do so whatever how about how about gary a five for six inside the paint or inside the arc his, his three wasn't Look even him. close but yeah he, he was he, he postered he postered damask on that dunk that put back dunk postered his own teammate the three was just a pass to the corner he either airballed it or hit the graze the front of the rim but yeah illinois 28 for 38 from two 74 percent that is as elite as elite gets and it's not going to be as easy to do that with their possible next two opponents let's say they play iowa state and UConn would be my, yeah. you know, guess. I mean, yeah. it would be hilarious if they played Northwestern in the Elite Eight. That would be very funny. <laughs> Nobody wants that, though. Um, actually, I'd be okay with that. I mean, you know. yeah, I'd rather play UConn because I didn't. Mm, yeah, me too. You can't risk losing to Northwestern. Anyway, <laughs> exactly. can't look ahead. Uh, Illinois, six steals in this game. So two each for Damask and Shannon. I'm very good. I feel very good about those guys only playing 33 and 31 minutes. Yeah, uh, that's a good number, and especially when nobody else went above twenty-five. Coleman was at twenty-five. Um, uh, let's see, thirty-five, twenty-eight in the glass. Uh, only fouled twelve times. Coleman had four, and a couple of them were ridiculous. The terrible and one call where he barely even touched the guy, if at all touched him, yeah. and the jump ball jump that ball should have been a jump ball. Really yeah. bad. Yeah, that was disgusting. Yep. But yep. Warner, uh, what's uh, going on? Daniel, what's up? Chi Zhang, what's going on? Nice win. Wyatt, what's up? Tommy, what's going on? What'd you think about Harmon playing 18 minutes? I was I thought Harmon's defense was good. There's that video of him refusing to uh, get screened. That was good. Yeah. I thought his defense was really good. He still um, can't, he still doesn't want to shoot, but it's all right. Yeah, but I mean uh two assists, a steal, a block. That was, I thought block was nice. I thought DGL's three was money and it was just a complete air ball. So that sucked. Yeah. Uh, Quackle wants to know if Jeffrey wants to start a Dane pod- podcast. I'd Go listen. for it. We'll uh, put you on our channel Steve here. Um, what's going on? Uh, Jeffrey says, after watching Iowa State tonight, then Illinois play, I think we can. Can, can I think is can what he means. Can beat them and UConn. He better mean that. But I mean, I think that this team – like when when they're playing like this, I I think their defense is good. I mean, Duquesne hit some shots. They took tough twos. I think this team can beat anybody right now. So they're playing their best basketball right now. By the way, DGL with uh, two fouls in eight minutes. So it's all right. That's what he's in there for. Keeping the pace. Play aggressive yeah, keeping defense. the pace. So they said something on the broadcast about how Brad made him. Hold defend tennis with balls. tennis balls, <laughs> yeah, getting too handsy. Yeah. And then the girl, I don't know her name, the oh, lady, the girl the again, woman, Jeez, the woman, relax, yeah, the woman, <laughs> uh, said probably. something about tying a, a towel around your neck or something. I don't know what she, I don't know what she, about. yeah, but yeah, maybe it's, <laughs> it's probably a real thing. I don't know. Uh, Steve says, No way, Iowa State will keep up with Illinois. Iowa State we'll plays see. defense, though. Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, Bootsilla, we were just trying to get the game over with. It was like a football game where you just run the clock out without any damage. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Illinois kind of slowed down the second half. They didn't need to do anything crazy. So, uh, Chi Zhang realized how much more athletic we were when Shannon jumped and dunked over three guys. Yeah. Gary A uh, dunked on Damas' head, posterized him. Good stuff. Northwestern shocks the world tomorrow and beats you guys. God, I hope not. Honestly, <laughs> no, you got you got you guys really want to play Northwestern. I think Northwestern gave it all they got just to beat <laughs> FAU. I don't think they can hang with UConn yeah. like at all. Like 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 if UConn is playing well, that's going to be a twenty 
point game, but we'll see. You never know. Uh, they play hard. Uh, I will say uh, Iowa State was early in the season, but they gave up seventy plus to uh, you know Virginia Tech. Okay. So, and seventy plus to Texas A and M, couple top thirty offenses or top forty offenses. I mean, so. they, I like they had a chance to lose tonight. So. BYU scored eighty seven against them. By the way, so a long time ago though. You never know. Yeah. It's different. It's a different beast in the tournament. I mean, on paper, metric, predictive metrics wise, Iowa State's a better team. But I think the big, a lot of Big Twelve teams have some inflated metrics, and right. I think we've seen some of that. Uh, I mean, their non-conference schedule. They played some really bad teams. They played eight games against sub two hundred predictive metric opponents. So I don't know how many Illinois played. I can look. Uh, I'll look now. One, two, three, four, five, five. They played five. That was uh, Eastern, Valpo, Southern, Western, FDU. So four, actually four. Okay. Sorry. So I'm just saying, you know, look at the non-conference stuff. Sorry? Canadian, yes. Um, Tell LeBron his shoes don't make the team. We'll keep on dancing. (laughs) Yeah, LeBron pretending like he's watched a Duquesne game at all when his former coach has been there. Probably not at all. <laughs> it's all right. So, uh, uh, Illinois hasn't been to the six, Sweet 16 since you've been in diapers, right? Are, are they are kids in diapers when they're like six? I don't know. I, I, I mean, guess they you probably might are. Been. I, don't I don't know. know. Probably, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> um, Can you go ask your mom when you were potty trained? It's, I don't want to get up. Um, uh, let me just throw this out into the universe. Just on a side note, I tweeted after the ACC tournament that I didn't think NC State had a chance to win a tournament game and then the Sweet 16. <laughs> so that was a miss. I've had some. I've had a lot of mixed. Miss. I mean, my Grand Canyon take is as about a, Grand Canyon and Gonzaga. I fucking yeah. nailed. So yeah. the, shout fact, out to me on that, but. the fact that Oakland didn't just – Inbounds the ball to Townsend and let him go to work was insane. Yeah, that's the uh conference player of the year. You gotta rely on him. Insane. So should have used Golki as a decoy. Yeah. Uh national media info on the team is so off. Avery Johnson saying Shannon is one of our primary ball handlers, Harmon, one of our key guys. Avery Johnson has no clue what he's talking about, guys. There's I mean, yeah, hopefully we Dane get a better, danger. better crew for the next game. All day long. So is this team better than the 21 team? I know they got, they've gotten further than the 21 team, but like head to head, could they beat them? I think so. Yeah. I think they probably would too. I just, I mean, they're just bigger. Like the guard guard play, like you got just this bigger and they have weapons. You know what I mean? I mean, like I know that Quincy Gary, Quincy Garrier is better than Jacob Grandison. So yes. that's one matchup. And Shannon right now is playing better than Io was during the tournament in March. And, and I think Shannon could lock up Io. And Damask is better than Adam Miller. And Rogers on Trent Frazier. I, I just think, yeah, Kofi ha- would have to put up 50. That's pretty much, yeah, that's, you know, I hate to talk shit about the 21 team. They were great. But that, this that, would be a, that would be a Dane Danger game. Shutting Kofi down. Shutting him down. <laughs> uh, Jim says Big 12 inflated metrics. Iowa State's non conference schedule was 347th yep. on Ken Palm. Yep. I was going to say that, but I didn't I didn't say it. And then I cut you off, huh? No. Uh, I, I, squared circle square. What's going on? Best since 05. They called us everything. Now we got to call us Sweet 16 bound. Second weekend. We run this. Yeah. Announcer sucks, says Jeffrey. Uh, Rebel says Illinois gonna gonna shock the world and win this national championship. Can't nobody run with us. If Illinois gets the final up, four, Euro, you, if Illinois gets the final four, you want to go to Arizona? You want to say we'll go to Arizona, then not go? Huh? Don't tempt me with a good time. Just saying. A lot of you want to go to Arizona and just tailgate in the parking lot during the game? Sure. I've done stuff like that before. I feel like going. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Going uh, to Arizona, but not going to the game. Physicality better than the 21 team, but we had our ED sort too. Yeah. Um, more versatile, way deeper, and they can lock in and play defense, just not super consistent. 
To be fair, the 21 team was seventh in defensive efficiency, which is significantly better than this team. But I just think, like, pound for pound, the way they're playing right now, they're playing pretty well defensively. I know they're facing a different team, but let's not sit here and pretend. Morehead State had, did have some weapons. I'm just saying. They had a couple weapons. Yeah, Morehead State was definitely a tougher competition. So, uh, <clears throat> Hawkins was annoying from the start, but I still love him. Hmm. Uh, my, 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 I mean, Coleman's that guy, right? We're, I mean, you love her, you hate him, you hate to love him, you whatever. He's Coleman Hawkins. He does, he does way too much to complain about, I guess. So seven rebounds, three assists, a steal, 11 points. Yep. Uh, we hated, on, we hated on Coleman for three years. We, we used to Dane danger Coleman Hawkins guys. So I don't know about we, I don't know if I did that. Uh, this team <laughs> in average say, height, man. this team in average height is almost two inches taller than the 21 team. And they're 0.71 years more experienced. It's almost a full year of more experience. Yeah. Uh, so that helps. And, and by the way, my, Former uh, transfer portal target that we talked about early in the portal last year, uh, Jackson Pavletsky. I think he transferred from Wofford. He's on Iowa State. So a guy that I wanted in the portal. It was a white guy that I wanted. And then it was like, oh, Damask. I really have Damask. Uh, Jeffrey said, I'm glad Brad is sitting in him when he starts complaining. I do think that it's good that Brad was getting in his face when they were up 30. Told him yeah. to stop. So. He can handle it. Illinois has the fourth highest offensive rating in the Ken Palm era. Also, this Illinois team, uh, third most wins in a single season. So, Only nine more to catch the 05 team. <laughs> a lot of work to do. <laughs> Is that the right number? Do. I don't know. It might be like 10. It's, uh, they win 37 or 38? 37. So 37. Only nine, nine more. more. Yeah, yeah, nine more to go. Uh, Eric, what's going on? Didn't know you were going to live tonight. Yeah, we said we weren't going to. Ethan, the game was so good. It. I just feel like we had to. Yeah, we had to. If Illinois would have lost this, yeah, you probably wouldn't be looking at us right now. It's so. probably not. No, I, I was fully prepared for every scenario tonight. No one matches up with us. Rebel says, What's up, Rebel? Uh, I like killing noise. I like you guys saying killing noise. Uh, if you guys are new here, subscribe. Uh, we already hit 500, but why not go for six? You know, so yeah. Uh, you'll I'll see tell you Ethan what. with a hard hat. You'll see me. Just We're at 506 there. right now. Look at us. Uh, Oregon, look out. Down one, 11 15 to go. Yeah, we got to get back to watching basketball. So, are we uh, done here? Hold on. You guys got anything more you want to talk about? Uh, so far, not, you have uh, a three and a two in the East in the Sweet 16, a one and a two in the uh, in the West, and then you have an 11 in the South. How's the South looking? <laughs> and then a five and a two in the uh, in the Midwest. So still have you know Yale could possibly you know Yale's a 13 seed. They could possibly do it. Um, Northwestern play on Thursday. Is that confirmed or just a yeah, guess? Yeah, it's, it's confirmed, but we don't have a time. Way more weapons than the 21 team. Kofi would be a problem, and his rim protection against Shannon or Damas would be a problem. I wish could, the game was Friday. Could <laughs> Kofi guard Coleman? Yeah, Illinois could just play five out, bring him out. I didn't. We want to start a war between Carl? Teams. What's up? We can give the people like five more minutes if they want to ask any questions about the tournament. Or I now we're State. just talking about the twenty-one teams. So. I don't want to talk about them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think Kofi was a great room. Kofi was not a great room. <laughs> he was. He was two Big. seconds late on every ball he tried to block, and that's fine. He developed offensively. He was great. So, nine. Boston Regional is the 28th and yeah. 30th. Boston. We don't have a time on Thursday yet. 
Illinois is closer to Boston than uh, than Ames, right? It's got to be. I have no clue. How is it not? I mean, Champaign is almost in fucking Indiana. Not really, but. <laughs> uh, the team had uh, squirt guns, apparently. 1,070.2 miles. <laughs> So that's that's uh that's Champagne, and then Ames, Iowa is one thousand three hundred fifteen. I assume both school, both schools are gonna go back to their campus before, so that would be where it's from. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it's illegal in the show. Who cares? <laughs> All right, enjoy tonight, but you better fucking be ready for Thursday. Hold on. They brought super soakers just in case. Jesus Christ. Um, How does that make you feel? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I yeah, I, it felt like Brad was feeling good towards the end of the game. Yeah, he was. He was. He was hey, it's he his was first sweet 16. So. Absolutely. Got the monkey off the back. Uh, Brad uh, Hagers. See you later. Brad Underwood has uh, one more sweet 16 than Fran McCaffrey. Fran has zero, right? Unless he got there without Iowa. I don't know. I shouldn't have said that. He doesn't, though, uh, right? No, he doesn't. Blind eye boys, I hope we don't play Creighton because my cousin Trey Alexander's plays for them. It have to be in the national championship. Yeah, we, <laughs> we had a long time. The atmosphere is going to suck. I'm betting it's a late game, especially if UConn wins. They are going to want UConn in the game first game. How do you think we match up with Iowa State? Who I'm gonna have to do some studying over the next few days. Um, yeah. We'll definitely have a podcast with uh, the. I, I, hopefully, Ethan will get some rest. I I've been told that that was our worst podcast ever. Or uh, your worst podcast. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. I mean, I've been told that. So. Led to a win, so. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Uh, it was tough. I mean, I once you hit like Thursday, Friday of the tournament, I, like I, dude, I'm exhausted. Just yeah. not sleeping at all, and then and, and honestly, I'm I'm so glad this game wasn't close because yeah. because for three minutes I rooted in Creighton, Oregon for two threes, and I couldn't imagine doing that for a whole game. Yeah, fuck that. Um. As of right now, this is the number one offense against the number two defense. So that's a big, a big thing here. Uh, and Iowa State is about as good as anybody at forcing turnovers. Second in the country, they force a lot of them. So Illinois is going to have to, you know, hold on to the the basketball. One thing that Illinois can expose is that Iowa State's not great at rebounding on the defensive glass. Illinois can take advantage of that. And uh, Iowa State does the reason that they're here is because they're not a great offensive team, but they shoot the three well. So we'll see. Yeah. I mean, you, I think that if you play a little defense, you can outscore them. Um, just from like a, just from like a size perspective, Illinois has got the advantage. Like yeah. they, their most common lineup in the last five games has been six, four, six, one, six, eight, six, seven, six, ten. Like they're, they're big, but they're not, you know, as big as Illinois. I mean, average height, they're a hundredth in the country. Illinois. No, oh, Ethan died. I feel you, Eric. We're bigger than Iowa State. Yeah. Um, I mean, Iowa State is really good defensively. I think we have more more stars. I think somebody said that. We have more skilled players, Jeffrey said. So, I'm not super worried about them. I mean, you're worried about every game. But if the team that showed up tonight shows up, be all right. Ethan will be back, guys. I promise. It's two of me. There he is. Jesus. Why does it do that? I was about to make a really cool point. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Illinois, yeah. Illinois needs to play Illinois basketball. Play Illinois basketball. Hit the glass. Hit the threes. Pass the ball. Uh 35% is nothing special that's, from three. It's, it's I think it's better than Illinois. It's better than average, I would say. Yeah, it's that's I mean. I mean, they you know, teams don't shoot 40% as a team. <laughs> eh, it's a few teams. Uh, Can you name one? And are they still playing? 
Purdue, I believe. Purdue's 40.7. Wow. I heard they don't have any guards. They can't. Uh, Kentucky shot 41% from three as a team. All lost. year? Yeah. I mean, Reed Shepard shot 53% on like, he had like 60 makes. There are two, oh. three, there are three teams. No, we'll say four teams that shot 40% from three. And that's Kentucky 40.9, which is 41. Purdue 40.7. And then both Baylor and Dayton 39.9. Illinois shoots at 30. 5.3 Iowa State shoots at 35.6. This right here, Warner, that's what I from what I saw tonight, that's what worried me the most is them trapping Damask has to be able to get the ball around and kick it. Like that that's going to be number 1 right there. Well, they got a few days to, you know, look into it and uh figure out how to yeah. space the floor. This team is is they were I mean, they double they like tonight. Northwestern kind of does. Um so Except they do it at a better something, something. They do it at a high level. shoots 35% from three. 35.3, yes. <laughs> Iowa State can't score with Illinois right now. The problem is Illinois. Duquesne, Iowa State. Can you give me the defense's numbers on uh, Ken Bomb, please? For who? One's like 50, I guess, and one's. Two Duquesne, Duquesne's 28th going into this game. 31st, oh, 28th. Now. Okay, well, yeah, never mind. 31st now. I like still Iowa State's second. Duquesne also played in the A10. So, yeah, I mean, their non conference strength of schedule was way harder than Iowa State's, <laughs> to be fair. They do it with better athletes. Brad is not worried. The games are going to get harder. So, Don says, "My, what's up, Don? Are you going to be disappointed? Like, how? What are What are your thoughts going to be? If they lose this game. I don't care. I think I've said that already. Like, I, was just, it, I it, didn't know if you were sticking to that. It's been 19 years since Sweet 16. I, I, as long as they're competitive and they have a chance, I won't care. They show up flat. I'll care a little bit, but just a little bit of a concern. This team just seems they seem different." Right. I mean, like yeah. the, the camaraderie, you know, how much they enjoy each other's company. They all wear each other's NIL gear. They bow and they push in their chairs together. I mean, this team just seems different. So true. I'm, 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 I'm dying for a matchup against UConn in the elite eight. I really hope that happens. This team got a chip on their shoulder. Yeah. Iowa state doesn't scare Wade. I don't think they scare me either. It's just you never know. Anything can happen. You never know. Exactly. Oh, if, if Illinois continues to play like they played through the Big Ten tournament, and I, I okay, second halves of the Big Ten tournament, second half of the Moorhead State game, and the whole Duquesne game, I'm okay. I think this is a pretty good point too. You can't try hard your way to a national title. You need dudes. Iowa State yeah. has none. It's a good point. I mean, Iowa State. Uh, Lipsy's pretty good, but uh, yeah, Lips, he's not have, Damask or Shannon. They have a true point guard, right? So, yeah, he uh, yeah, point guards win championships or something. That's what they keep telling me. Okay, how the hell did he get? He got the Ken Palm MVP in the Houston Big Twelve Championship game. He had nine points. <laughs> how is that? What, what the? Yeah, that's insane. Uh, well, yeah, say, like Duquesne's defense, they only force seven turnovers. Iowa State's defense really good. If Illinois can limit their turnovers, I think I think we got a good shot. So Iowa State, uh, Washington State had thirteen turnovers against uh, Iowa State, and South Dakota State had fifteen. So there you go. There you go. Lipsy is all right. If he was really good, he would be talked about more. Avery Johnson likes him, so. Well, that's all you need to know right there. Uh, all right. That'll do it for us. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Thanks, we'll everybody, for coming out. Shh, quiet. I'm talking. By the way, somebody said best intro ever. Thank you. Um, thank you guys for coming out for this. Hit the subscribe button. Like this. We appreciate y'all. Ethan will close us out. Sorry. 360. Sure. Go ahead. Um, Go ahead. <laughs>
Yeah, uh, we'll do the podcast episode sometime. I mean, I yeah, um, let's shoot for like Tuesday, maybe. Yeah, Tuesday would work, so we'll see. Uh, yeah. and we also will probably go live on the uh, in the on the other stuff to preview the Sweet Sixteen, maybe even on here. I don't know. We'll see. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Stay what tuned. Are you doing that Monday? Probably. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll see everybody next week. Illinois is going to the Sweet 16. Goodbye.